I have a, a very different way of uh, understanding and explaining nutrition. Uh, nutrition has been ignored in the medical profession for a long time. In the United States, basically in, in Europe as well. And it, we now know that nutrition can do, when it's done right, the right kind of foods, we can actually do far more with nutrition than is possible to do with drugs. And the emphasis that I really am making now is not just about nutrition preventing disease. It's actually about the same nutrition being used to treat disease, which is, which is very exciting. Because when we take a group of people who are sick, they have diabetes or they have something like this, um, and we give them the food. In 10 days time, we see remarkable effects. Drugs cannot do this. And the benefits that we see are without side effects. So it's so far superior to the way we practice medicine now that I am very anxious to just let people know this. They can try it for themselves and see what the effects are. But most importantly, we need to get physicians. The, the physicists are the leaders in our in public health arena. That's, that's the way it is now, that's the way it should be. And I'm simply saying that they are not being taught this kind of information in medical schools. I just came from Los Angeles a few days ago, speaking to a group of 600 people. 95% were, were physicians. And uh, I, I know the way they're reacting. They, they just can't believe that the results they're seeing, and they never got the information in medical school. My son, uh, also a physician, Dr. Campbell, um, he now has recently been appointed to a new program in a very big medical school, a program called Nutrition and Medicine, focused on this idea. That's the first program of its kind in a medical school in the United States. So what he wanted to do was to take the information that he and I wrote in the China study, he wanted to take that information and sort of tell how to. You know, how, do, how does someone who doesn't know this information very well, what do they actually do? They can learn something about it, then they have to give some, some guidance. How do you shop and you know, what kind of food you buy and, and something about you know, cooking too. So it's kind of a how-to book. Plant Pure Nation, uh, directed by my oldest son, it's a different son, his name is Nelson, and uh, that movie uh, actually premiered in Hollywood in June, and now it's in theaters around the United States. The first movie that was very successful and still is able to be seen is forced over knives. Now they're estimating that at least 20 million people have seen that movie. It's probably the number one documentary movie from all categories in the United States for the last four years. But it, that movie did not answer the question, why haven't people heard this before very well? So my son, Nelson, decided to make the second movie, Plant Pure Nation. He used as his partner the same producer that was the producer of Forks Over Eyes. So now they've made this movie. We just recently went around the United States and Canada uh, in 25 cities and showed it. And now it's being shown into various places, it's in theaters. Uh, and uh, I think soon it's going to be on uh, DVD, you know, and Netflix. You can download it maybe. So we're excited about that movie. It's uh, it just played in Chicago uh, to an audience of 1,500 people. It's a story. I, I spoke at, um, the, on the legis to the legislature of a state in the United States, Kentucky, and they, uh, and with my friend, Dr. Esselton. And the legislators got very excited about what we we're talking about. And they wanted to enact some legislation that my son and a senior legislator had created, but that was beaten by the lobbyists, the industry. 
So then, and all of that's on camera. So then they went back and took a group of people, gave them the food, shows what happens, that's part of the story. They came back to Kentucky, offered a new uh, legislation. And as I say, it's really, it shows what happens at the legislative level. Plant Pure Nation Cookbook is a companion to the movie. Uh, it's authored by my son's wife, my, my daughter-in-law. Um, and so, yeah, that uh, just shows a lot of the foods that can be used to create this effect. Our daughter also produced a cookbook too called uh, China Study Cookbook. That's been out for a couple of years. So those two books you know, right now are doing very well. And so people are learning how to cook the food. I'm right now involved with my physician's son, Tom, in attempting to organize some research. Uh, very, very serious research on showing what this diet can do for cancer patients. That's one area that has not received enough attention. Most cancer uh, victims and or patients, I should say, most cancer patients and their doctors tend to use standard procedures, chemotherapy, radiation therapy, maybe some surgery and they don't give any attention to nutrition. Mm -hmm. And I really feel very strongly that's not right. Okay. And so we want to organize some, some uh, kind of research just to show how effective that can be. At the present time, it will be under the direction of my son, Tom, you know, at the University of Rochester. I'm working on it to get the proper funding to do that kind of research. And we will include um, you know, doctors from other institutions, other medical schools uh, in this project who will recruit some patients to different places. Yeah. So that, that's the idea. It's a public nonprofit organization that I have had for more than 20 years. I was using it for some um, support for my graduate students. But then when I uh, took my so-called retirement. I'm still a faculty member at Cornell. But um, we, my students organized a class online around lectures I was giving at Cornell. And so now we have an online program called Plant-Based Nutrition. And that's comprised of three courses. And it takes about six weeks you know, to take that online for people. And we also are offering 30 category one continuing medical education credits for doctors. We've had about 7,000 graduates. About a third of them are doctors or health, primary health care workers. Uh, people take the course, they get a certificate from uh, the court. We do it in, in partnership with Cornell University. University uh, online program. It's been very successful and uh, we are now are talking to uh, institutions, uh, medical institutions, about you know, using this as an education program in nutrition for medical schools.